golf cart day. There's a list right there that we haven't paid attention to in a while. We're going to cross it off a bit. Is there really things to cross off? Oh, yeah. Yeah, here, take the marker. I see things. There are things, don't worry. There's exhaust. Got to get all the concrete dust off first. Yeah, there, there's, there's a pre crossing off stage we have to go through. Okay. <clears throat> Are we gonna say we don't need a muffler? No, we definitely do not need a muffler. Fuck okay. that. Fuck the muffler. Fuck mufflers. Perfectly straight line there. Good enough. Uh, rear bumper, not complete yet, right? It's in the process. Oh, the tires, wheels and tires and stuff like that. We got all that set up. Wheels and tires. I suppose at some point, if you want to make the uh, track with exactly the same front to rear, we would need spacers still, but... That's for now, wheels and tires are taken care of. If we can even get spacers that small. Right. Because what is that, like a half inch? You need like a half inch or something on both sides, yeah. Wheel spacers, tighten everything. Well, we I found. Hope we've done that. Oh, we wait. did it once and then everything loosened again. Yeah. <laughs> so, should I change that to weld everything? Uh, at least <laughs> yes. thread lock everything. Weld everything. <laughs> <laughs> Weld everything. Okay. <laughs> the choke mount slows me done. Uh, light, lights and gauges. We know we'll do that. Paint everything still needs to happen. Mm -hmm. So actually, our list is down to like five things. Yeah, that's actually, crazy, huh? Yeah. Well, that's a big one. <laughs> that's true. Skin plate. That's like more like two or three things. Mm, fair enough. Um, bumper will be gone. Choke mount, that's easy. Body work, that is... In progress. In progress, mm -hmm. yeah. Why does it say front and back? Was there any work on the front? Not really. Well, it's it's not permanently mounted. Well, that'll be fine. And the, the dash is also part of that, I think, right? Yeah, I mean, we still have to stick ignition in there. We have to find a button still. You haven't looked for a button, that's why. Why am I looking for a button? Because. I don't know what buttons look like. I, neither do I. Alright. Um, yeah, that's, that's everything I think. Yep. I already cleaned the floor, pan, floor pans. <laughs> They're dirty again, but that's not important. Well, everything gets dirty really quickly. Uh, Alright, so for the rear bumper here. Uh, normally these uh, factory mounts actually go away the hell up here. Because um, that's where the holes line up for this. Um, I've decided to uh, circumnavigate that and we're going to put them down here on this crossbar, which is easy enough because I just have to drill a couple holes and then I'll put some bolts through them that feed through here, whatever, whatever the size are. I look like the pry 3 8s. Then I just have to chop them shorter and make some nice little bendy bits to then attach to the actual bumper right here. And I can put it all together, paint it black, and uh, call it a day. Brad's making a lot of noise. This is my brake bleeder. What? I said this is my brake bleeder. Oh. There's. Looks like it's yelling at you. A vent there, and a vent there, and you shove the hose in there. So the vents are for the queefing or? Well they're, <laughs> never mind you. <laughs> Nobody asked you. Okay. okay, so this is gonna be my brake bleeding setup. I've got a uh, hose going to the little bleeder there. And there's, there's Josh. What's going on? He's watching. Uh, goes into my brake fluid uh, storage container and the hose goes into the brake fluid so no air can come back up through the line. Uh, That's how that works supposedly. We're gonna see if it works. Word up. Yep. Alright, I have my uh, mounts for the bumper all set up. Um, all I ended up doing was measuring the height that I wanted out of them and just chopped off the rest of the leg. So I got down to this. Um, these mounts are set up so it sticks the bumper two and a half inches off of the back of the golf cart back over there. So I just have to measure once and 
try and get them positioned like three or four times and uh, they'll go right on there. And there's another one for that side. And then I just have to hang it on the back of the golf cart, mark some holes on that back bar, drill them for some 3 8 fasteners and we'll be all set to go. I uh, probably should put some washers in there too I imagine. But that's We're out here working on the uh, golf cart again. Um, we already have the body off over there and uh, we have some work dillied out. Um, I myself have to finish mounting my rear bumper that I was working on. Um, it's over here. Um, I just have to mount it to the holes I had drilled. And then my other goal for the day is to get a center bearing worked in. Um, somebody on a forum, uh, Buggy's Gone Wild, suggested that we should definitely put a center bearing in because if we do a hard launch, we'll just bend the shaft. We had already considered doing a center bearing, we were just kind of being lazy. But I guess we'll get actually get around to it and make it happen. The fact that three of us agree that it should happen probably says that it should Fair enough. Two Brad, this wasn't enough. Right. Brad is doing body work. He's better at it than I am, that's for sure. Yeah, totally professional. Well, as more professional than I could do, I'll tell you that much. I don't look good. Right. The other stuff hasn't cracked yet, so I must be doing something right. That's a good point. We got a final skin coat of Bondo on the upper section and then I just used my leftover stuff right there still waiting for that to dry Fuck yeah. having a good time over there? does it fit in the hole? probably so I have, oh that's a little loose there I probably should fix that anyways I've made a most of a crossbar to go in there to hold the center bearing. I just need to remove everything on this side again so I could, you know, slip the bearing on there, mark where I'm going to drill holes and figure that stuff out. Looks more like you're making a whole mess. I am now. Listen, I don't see you having to disassemble half the golf cart. So, yeah, I am going to talk a little bit. So, fuck off. Right. So, I've disassembled the golf cart way further than I wanted to, but it's necessary so I can put this goddamn bearing in the middle so I can mark the damn holes for my square piece of tube over there so I know where to fucking drill. You know, that's half your fault then. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Bitch. Brad is working on the dashboard. He's not very happy about it. But he's not terribly happy. That's how you were planning to use a zip tie to hold that in place? Yeah. I was didn't realize that's what you were doing with a zip tie. No, I gotta do something else with it, but I don't know what yet. Yeah, I'd say you have to do something different with that. I did not know well, that's what you meant. I mean I can cut the tail of the zip tie. I didn't know that's what you meant. <laughs> if you can't see, that's that's what Brad meant by holding the ignition with the zip tie. Yeah. Apparently. Well then. I don't know. I'll figure something out. I hope so. I'm gonna make some sort of bracket back there or something. Right. I of course have to drill holes. They're seven sixteenths. So there's one there, and there's one over there. Drill press. Welder is out. My crossbar is in place. Bolt it down tight. I won't show it to you up close because it's good enough for a golf cart and not much else. But we should be okay. But however, my center support bearing is now in place. So we shouldn't have any issues. Now I have to take that bearing, slide it out of the way so I can paint that and start putting shit back together and all that good happy horse shit.
I mean, if I can't understand what you're saying, I'm pretty sure this camera has no idea what you're saying. Whatever. So now that I have my center bearing support painted and ready to go, I am going to work on welding the hubs on. Now I'm not going to do a full bead. I was going to do good tack so they can't slide back and forth because we had issues with them sliding back and forth before because the set screw sort of loosened up so we're going to use thread locker and then we're just going to put a tack on it to make sure that it never becomes a problem. Then of course we'll have to move that bearing over, put the brake back on, set that in place so I can weld that um, hub as well. Then I'll be able to put everything back together over here including the fucking exhaust. Next up Gotta take this part, slip the brake back on there. Slip it in there! Slip it in there good! What? I didn't make it weird. How did I make it weird? Oh, you know what? I do, yeah. I gotta loosen up the center bearing back up so I can... Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Uh, bitch. Okay. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> Why is this difficult? Fucking poor bag. I think it's entertaining. Well, it's a good thing you think it's entertaining then. Yeah. Slide! Bitch! Okay. Now line up the keyway. Where? Oh, it's over on the other side. Let's move! Over! There. God damn. I need to get the caliper on there too now. Where the fuck did the keyway go? I just had it. Okie dokie. Uh, exhaust is mostly back in place. I just have to redo this tack. Brakes are all back together. Brad is thread locking the set screws and everything. I just gotta put the wheel hub back on. Then we'll be back to where we were this morning. With more strength. Hopefully, yeah, a little bit more strength. What are you doing? Complicating things for you. Yeah, you definitely are. <laughs> oh, bearing first, duh. <laughs> Good job. I thought there was something missing. Okay, take two of the wheel hub. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. This keyway doesn't want to slide. Oh shit, I probably should have got some thread back on those. There we go. Where's the where get the air hose? I need the impactor. Impact in, impact in. Almost fell over. Yeah. Whoa, hold on there, cowboy. Three jiggers. Yeah, three jiggers. So this is the result of what day of body work. Well, I guess it was more than a day, but uh, this is about finished. It's very smooth. I've just got a few edges, like this edge. I'm not real happy about. I gotta smooth that out a little bit more. And then the top section will be fixed. This was obviously all hole here. Uh, this back section is getting there. Uh, if you look from back here, they're looking very similar, uh, which is good considering this whole corner was missing before. I still have several more layers to probably do here. I think this, this edge needs to be a little bit thicker here. Um, and then it'll be, again, the same thing, the finished Bondo, skim coat, and I'll do a skim coat around the flare too. I just move all this out. But it's coming along. 
already looks better than it did. And Josh is over there putting things back together.